Hey, what's going on YouTube? In this tutorial, I want to show you the best way to insert images into your markers in your line charts in Excel. So what I mean by markers is you see the little blue dot, the blue dots that are on the line chart. Um, that's the markers that I'm referring to on the chart. So the best way to insert images is to um, first to go to the marker settings, click on the line in the line chart, then right click on the that line, and then go to Format Data Series at the bottom. After you do that, you're going to see this little menu pop up on the right. Go to the left, a little fill bucket, fill in line. And then you're going to have two options at the top. One that says line, and then on the right, one that says marker. And, it, and the best way to put images inside your marker is first, under marker options, um, you're going to want to select a built-in marker option. Not the automatic one, but a built-in one. And you're going to want to select one of the shapes, whether it be the uh, diamonds, the square, the circle, what have you. You might be tempted to select image, um, but you know the reason why we're not going to select image is because if you if you select the image under marker options, then you don't have a lot of flexibility in adjusting the size uh, of the image that's using your marker. What I'm going to show you gives you some flexibility to adjust the size. So um, let's say you wanted a circle. Then now we're going to adjust the size to be whatever we would like. So let's say you wanted it to be 15, for example. Now we're going to go under fill. And under the fill options is where we're going to go ahead and insert the image. Um, so we're going to go click on not no fill, not solid, but you know, and towards the middle picture or texture fill. I'm going to click on picture. And here, you know, you, you can have different options for editing the picture. Um, but at the top, you can say picture source. We're going to want to click um, insert for this example. Now, what, where do you want to get the image from? Well, we want, let's just say, wanted to put it in icon, a smiley face icon. That might be fun. Smiley face is on our, um, on our, uh, I, on our marks. So happy, so just happen happy. As you can see, we have this smiley face. Click insert. And now you can see we have smiley faces on our icons. Um, going through real quick to adjust the border. I want I don't want a border on this at all for this example, so just gonna click no line and that takes you to the border. And now we can go through and under marker options adjust the size as we see fit. So we can just use the up arrow uh, up arrow and to be whatever we suits our fancy. And then boom, now we have smiley faces as our as our markers in a line chart. Um and yeah, so this is the best way just because it'll it, you know adjusting put the image by going under fill is under instead of marker options is generally the best way because it allows you to have so much more flexibility when it comes to adjusting the size of the markers to show you what it looks like doing it the other way. We're going to go back to marker um, options and under marker options we're going to select built in but instead of the type we're going to just select image. We're going to go to the same icon and it's going to take a second to load happy. Just type in happy. Type happy. Going to go to, you know, yeah, it's kind of the same icon right there. Click insert. But as you can see, um, it, 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 you know, we don't have easy, as, as you can see after doing this, um, through the type with the typing image, it the size right there becomes grayed out. Um, so we can't adjust the size, which is why we want to go, to, which is why we want to select something like a circle and then um, go to the full options instead. So that said, um, I hope you found this to be helpful. If you did, like, subscribe, comment. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a fantastic day. Um, thank you.